Dude, I go to start this video and I'm looking at my face and I look like I've just got through, got the shit kicked out of me in a fight. Like, earlier today, my hair's a fucking mess. The black eye's super red. Well, super black. Why do they call it a black eye? It's like a purple eye. And the red shirt, I think, is making it more red. God damn, I don't look at myself that much, so when I'm... That's intense. Um, I'm, I want to talk about how I'm really, I'm terrified about, I'm terrified of sexuality. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm not afraid to do it. Well, I am afraid to do it. But, like, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to talk about it. I'm really afraid to talk about it. That's the problem. I'm not really afraid to do it. You know, I do it. Sex with Amanda. Fuck around on her lied about it because I'm afraid to talk about it. Why am I so afraid to talk about it? Why am I... Why is it that every time it comes up... Like, why am I afraid to say I want to have sex with other people? Like, that girl, for instance, to Amanda. Why is... Where's that fear come from? Why is that something difficult to do? Is it because women want men to stay with them, only them, inherently, and men inherently want to go have sex with every woman. I mean, completely honestly, I want to have sex with every woman. It's like a, this animalistic desire I have. I want to impregnate every woman and have them all raise my children. It's crazy, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to live like that. It's like this bizarre animal... It's not even bizarre, it's just animal. It's animal. We're fucking animals. And, I, and it's like, I, I, everybody who kind of wants to deny that, that we're animals, but we are animals. Like all the other animals in the forest, getting it on indiscriminately. We're just animals, but we have this consciousness. And I'm not going to fall into that trap, that trap of sex, by doing it all the time with a bunch of people. It's destructive. It's addictive like a drug, like heroin. So then I'm thinking, like, should I just stop having sex? I talked to Amanda about that a little bit. We talked about that a couple nights ago. Then we had sex after that because just the thought of not doing it is like giving up a drug. I mean, I would be down with not having sex because I don't know, like, can I... I don't know if I can have sex with Amanda all the time and then just turn it off when I'm in public, turn it off when I'm around other people. Like, I have to, if I want to remove it from my life, I have to remove it from my life. I don't know that I can just do it with one person and then not have this, it, like, this desire, this intense desire to still do it when I'm around other people, new people. I've just got to, maybe I've got to cool it down. The Buddhists won't even, won't be even be around women. So when I think my buddy Ted Ted was telling me this, Ted. According to Ted, we were once friends back in high school. I don't believe that, Ted. I think just because we haven't been talking lately, you've been taking it personally. And I wish you wouldn't take it personally because it's not about you. I'm going through crazy shit right now. So, the Buddhists don't even have women around because they can't focus. So do, do I stop having sex? I don't know. There's no right answer. I know balance is the key, but it's like a drug, like heroin. It's addictive as hell sex. I'm addicted to it. It's so great. And it's fucking powerful and dangerous. It's destructive. And I'm really afraid of talking about it. That's the thing. I'm really afraid of talking about it. And I don't want to be afraid of talking about it. I want to explore sexuality with words. You know? Talk about, talk about everything. Talk about my sexuality, my experiences with everyone.
that I've had. I'm not. I'm not ashamed of it. You know, the the rub a dick for luck story was just something I've kept in my entire life because I thought that I thought you're not supposed to talk about sex. You're not supposed to explore it with people. And then you get in a relationship and then you really stop exploring it because the other person gets pissed off if you continue to explore sexuality and you're in like a dating relationship. People get pissed the fuck off. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe women are onto something. I mean, I, I only have this male perspective on things. And the, I'm sorry, I keep picking at my arm. I've got this... I've just got to let it go. See, until I talked about the thing I was picking on my arm, I couldn't stop. I had to address the situation before I could have control of the situation. It's the same thing with fucking around on Amanda. That's why I was honest about it. Because now I have control of it and I'm not going to do it anymore. I have control of it because I've embraced it. I've accepted what I've done. I've stopped fucking lying about it. So maybe women are onto something with this toned down sexuality thing. I wish I could experience life as a woman emotionally, but maybe maybe that's what I'm trying to do by being with a woman with Amanda. I'm, I, there's this interesting new perspective on things that I didn't have inherently as a man. It's new to me. It's still it's the scariest thing in the world to me, women. But they're brilliant. They're, they're in tune with something. And men must just make women fucking crazy because we are like animals, like drunk animals. This testosterone makes us drunk. It makes us wild. And women are left fucking freaking out, trying to get us to calm down and just to stay with them and stop going all over the place. But then it's the men that are like the great philosophers in history, are the men, are the people that go out and explore why is it that women want to stay in, in, a, in a place and create an atmosphere of home and men want to go out and explore and continue to travel on and, and not settle down? Is it, is, it, is it a gender thing? I mean, to an extent, probably. It's not... I'm sure it's not every guy and every girl is like that, but it seems like a lot of people are like that. This is... I got a lot of questions right now. I'm not really... I don't know why I even do these videos half the time. I just want to get on and, and kind of talk, because... Amanda's been really, really angry at me. Or angry. Just angry. But yeah, at me. And it's, it's been hard to talk to her or anyone, really. And I just watched Thomas's uh, video response about how, where he said, trust me, you guys have to break up. Trust me. It has to happen. And then I'm like, so many people say re the relationship has to end if, if there's certain stipulations are met. If there's infidelity, the relationship has got to end, people say. If there's physical violence, the relationship has got to end. Like, why are people so quick to tell other people how to live their relationships when they themselves aren't in one, or aren't focusing on one, or are avoiding one? Why? I'm all about people giving me feedback, but I don't want people to tell me to stop doing what I'm doing. That's ridiculous. If you want to talk to me, if you want to communicate, communicate in a constructive fashion. Don't tell me what I'm doing is wrong. Because there is no wrong. There's different ways to go about things. And this is just a different perspective. Alright, I'm a little off topic. I want to get back to sexuality. My own sexuality, you know? Like, I'm, I'm gay and I'm straight. I'm, I'm both. I'm, I'm, I love men, and I love women, and I'm not sexually attracted to men. I'm, I, don't, I don't desire to, to do a guy in the ass. I don't desire to get my cock sucked by a guy or to suck dick. I don't want cum in my mouth. 
I don't want that stuff. I don't. It's not. It doesn't get me excited physically. Maybe it's because the connection that I feel with a guy is not erotic. It's more spiritual. It's more of a consciousness, like a free consciousness. And with a woman, this the emotion that's involved really is what attracts me physically, perhaps, and their bodies. A woman's body, when I look at a woman's body, I get very physically attracted to it. But that's, the physical stuff is irrelevant. It's more about the connection. And, and I don't know, man, women are just so fucking fascinating. Why is it that guy a guy would ever not want to address a relationship with a woman? Is it fear? Is it because it's too difficult? I mean, are guys gay because it's easier? Because I think it's easier to connect with guys. It's hard to connect with a woman. They're, they're fucking crazy. They're different. Maybe I'm crazy. And they're just making me see that. And that's why it's hard to do it. And they just want to calm me down. Maybe Amanda just wants to calm me down. Not take advantage of me. Maybe I'll stop having sex. Or cut it back. I think I'm going to cut it back. I'm going to talk to Amanda about this when she gets back from work tonight. It's just so powerful and dangerous. I'd rather focus on other things. I don't want to get hung up on it. Like, this whole experience has been really eye-opening for me. Uh, it's crazy. I never thought I'd be saying that out loud. That I would cut back on sex. I just thought it was a great part of life. And then you have a bunch of it and you realize, well... There's more to it than just the act of it. There's more to it than just fucking. There's... the connection the openness is that what's powerful is that what I fear that connection with a bunch of people because I think Amanda will leave if I do it and then what at that point if, if Amanda leaves because it's too much for her to handle what's the point what would be the point if I was to connect with a bunch of different women and just, just, would I learn just as much as if I was in a relationship with Amanda? The one-on-one, -on -one, the deep, personal, one-on-one -on -one connection? The long distance, I mean, not, not long distance, but long term with one person? Do you learn more from that, or do you learn more from exploring a bunch of different people? I used to think you had to start from the beginning with a new person, but now I realize you take what you've learned from your past relationships and you take it into the new relationship. i would never thought of it that way before. I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to live life afraid. But I don't want to let sex destroy. You know, I don't want to I don't want to let the animal part of me destroy my ability to communicate with people. I don't want to aggressively, you know, I don't want to be so aggressive that people can't be around it or don't want to be around it because they're afraid of it. Alright, I have a lot of questions. I may be watching this video right now that I'm making will open up my eyes to something. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll see you. See you later.